Welcome to today's video. As you can see, I'm channeling my inner Miriam. Um, <laughs> having some fun. Uh, today, I've got something very special to share with you. As we all know, our darling Sid uh, has been the cause occasionally of her family having to move from town to town. And this morning, Miriam received a letter um, that you need to hear. And so it says, Dear Mrs. Hale, may I say first, what a delight it has been to have your lovely daughter, Mira, in our school. Her dedication and attention has been a wonderful addition to her classes, and we couldn't ask for a lovelier student. Unfortunately, I'm not writing in regards to Mira. As you know, our small facility houses all age groups from kindergarten to grade 12. That being said, we had hoped to integrate your older daughter, Sidlin, as easily as her younger sister. However, in light of recent events, it is apparent we will no longer be able to provide a space for Sidlin at Primrose Consolidated. Thanks to the occurrence we are now calling the incident, three cheerleaders, two football stars, and a small group of theater students are no longer able to speak above a whisper. And while we're certain Sidlin had nothing to do with the rash of laryngitis that has swept our school, her interaction with the aforementioned victims just prior to their illnesses leads us to worry she might be some kind of carrier. Added to the sudden loss of speech in some of our students, the instantaneous growth of a pig snout and tail on our dear Mr. Rotham may be inexplicable and, we assure you, not your daughter's fault. And yet, the surgery required to repair our grade 10 science teacher's face and bottom will have him, have him out of class for weeks. And yes, we know there's no possible way Sidlin could be connected to the aforementioned issues still. Her proximity to lunch lady Martha, moments before the poor woman's offering of soup and sandwich ended up embedded in her forehead, lead us to believe, at the very least, Sidlin has some kind of bad luck streak following her about. As unconventional and unbelievable as it may seem, considering the tragedies that seem to surround her, we simply must ask you to find a new school for Sidlin. Perhaps a private academy or even homeschooling. Homeschooling might be the best choice for such a unique student. Sincerely, Penny Bigger, Principal, Primrose Consolidate. Yeah, poor Miriam, she gets those letters a lot. <laughs> but of course, by the time the letter arrives, they moved on to a new town. So it's a good thing that uh, Wilding Springs finally accepted them all. Okay, that's today, today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of fun. Um, as I've said all along, we have some yay, fun swag that we're going to be giving away. I am going to be giving away. Dum, dum, dum. So enter your name or comment below either on the YouTube video or on the Facebook fan page. Uh, and I will, and on my website, and I will uh, enter you for a chance to win some fun stuff. Okay, so we only have a few days left. So excited! Who's excited? I'm excited. <laughs> have an awesome day, guys. Toodles!